Hi folks, Sarah Goodman here, museum educator at Drakewell Museum and Park, coming to you today from the caretaker's house on the grounds of the museum. If you are not familiar with our museum, we are the birthplace of the modern petroleum industry. It was here in August of 1859 that Colonel Edwin L. Drake struck oil at a depth of 69 and a half feet, starting that modern petroleum industry. We are located in Titusville, Pennsylvania, which is in the Northwest region of Pennsylvania. Today, you are here to help me solve a little bit of a mystery. And that mystery is called, what is it? In the museum's education department, I have shelves upon shelves of objects that I use to help teach you about life and work in the oil region and the oil industry. And those objects all come from the 19th, 20th, and 21st century. Most of the objects, I know what they are, but some of the objects, I am clueless as to what they are. And today, you're gonna help me figure out what one of those objects is. And what we're gonna do is, I'm going to give you a little bit of a description of the object, and then I'm gonna show you three ways that I think the object was used. And from that, we should figure out what it is. So here is today's object. What is it? Well, let me give you a little bit of a description. This object is made of metal. The metal that it's made of is iron. And this object is a little bit heavy, especially on this end of it. It's got a little bit of weight to it. The object is about 21 inches long, and at the base here, or what I think is the base, it's about six inches wide. And it has a clasp here so that you can lock it shut, but this object also has a hinge and it opens. Hmm, what is it? Well, let's figure that out together. The first way that I think this object is used is I think this object is used by the blacksmiths. I think these are blacksmith tongs, that what the blacksmith does is picks up the piece of metal that he is working on, clamps it between these two ends here, and then holds this over the fire to heat the metal up. Once the metal's heated up, he pulls it out, brings it over to the anvil, and opens the tongs up, puts the metal onto the anvil, and then he's able to hammer away. And that's why it has the long handles to keep the blacksmith's hands away from the fire, or what they call the furnace. So I think these are tongs for the blacksmith to hold metal that he's working on. My second guess, well, I think these are used for cooking. And I think what you do is you put your food here inside these two metal squares, clamp it shut, and then hold it over the fire to cook. And looking at the pattern inside, kind of reminds me of a waffle. So maybe this is a waffle iron. So guess number two is that it's a waffle iron. Guess number one was that it was tongs for the blacksmith. And my third guess is also for cooking, but I think since this has some weight to it, I think this is for something very important. I think this is for squeezing food, specifically fruit. We love fruit juice, right? And we use fruit juice in many different recipes. So what I think you do is I think you open this up and between the two metal plates, you put your different fruit, maybe cherries, maybe grapes, and you clamp it shut and you squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So I think this is a juicer for squeezing multiple different types of fruit. Hmm, so what is it? Guess number one 
is that it's tongs for the blacksmith to hold the metal. Guess number two is that it's for cooking and specifically waffles. And guess number three is that it's for squeezing fruit or a juicer. Which is it? Hmm. I'll let you think about it for a little bit. And while you're thinking, I can give you a little bit closer look. Do you know what it is? Hmm. I bet you know what it is. If you guessed that it is for cooking, number two, and specifically for cooking waffles, you are correct. This is an early waffle iron. And what gives that away is the pattern on the inside. This waffle iron was made by a blacksmith. And what you do is you pour your batter on this metal plate, clamp down the other plate, and hold this over your fire. And once it's cooked for a little bit, then you turn it and it cooks the other side of the waffle. So this is an early waffle iron. Waffles were a very um, important food in the uh, 19th century, and they were a treat at breakfast and also other meals. So this is an early waffle iron. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of What Is It? If you liked our video, subscribe to us on YouTube so that you could see other videos by Drakewell Museum and Park. Also, don't forget to like us on Facebook and to visit our website at www.drakewell.org. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.